So what is this machine? It's ion counter. It's counting, it's counting the how many ions per cubic centimeter we have. Negative in, ions. In air. Negative and positive. Oh, and positive. Yeah. Okay. You have here polarity, minus and plus. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, it's counting the minus. Dobro. Mm -hmm. And this is the same machine we use in the tunnels to count the negative ions in there. Yeah. I see. And do we also count positive ions in yeah. the tunnels? No. And Not we will do that in the tunnels. Aha! Uh -huh. So you see, I didn't know that you counted positive ions as well. Now negative ions are good for us. Yep. Are positive ions good for us? I don't think so. Huh. But <laughs> they, they must exist. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Together. So there's... About the same amount per cubic centimeter yeah, of negative yeah. and positive? Yeah. Uh -huh. now it is, it's always similar. Oh, it's always similar. Yeah, because uh, here we have a small value and it's uh, it's not so so high difference. But when you ha when you have uh, like uh, forty thousand of negative ions, you have uh, ten. 10,000 more or, or uh, less of uh, positive ions in, in air. So approximately yeah. the you, same. When you have a big, uh, uh, yeah, big values, then you have a bigger distance. A bigger between, range, bigger range. Yeah, bigger range between Interesting. Them. Yeah. So what's the normal reading for the tunnel for negative ions? Like in the middle of the tunnel somewhere? Uh, I would say average 25 till 30,000. Negative ions per cubic centimeter. Yeah. Yep. Amazing. Fantastic. Thank you, Meira. You're welcome. <laughs>